Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. We're, we're going to find out how many Americans... I, I, I just, I can't... You've just been watching... Uh, this trial, you retweeted, uh, Really American said, Michael Cohen provided bombshell testimony that could upend Trump's legal team's efforts to portray his actions as him trying to protect Melania from news of his sexual exploits. Cohen testified it was Melania's idea to spin the now infamous Access Hollywood tape in which Trump ba- blagged about his ability to grab women by their genitalia as locker room talk. The Trump defense hoped to spin his hunch money payments as a way to hide his extramarital scandals from her instead of from voters. But if Melania was already helping create a spin to conceal all his sexual deviancy from voters. There's no need to hide his adultery from her at all. No wonder she's been absent from his trial the entire time. And I think, you know, Brooklyn Dad, as we keep saying, there's just such an ick factor to this trial, you know, because you just, you just, it, everything comes out about what just a despicable pig he is and a, and a crook. And that everyone that know, that worked for him knows that he's a liar and they had to lie for him, Right. You, you know, I, I can look back on my non-jaded uh, self, you know, my non-jaded Majid from eight years ago um, would have been thoroughly shocked that uh, Melania had anything to do mm-hmm. with that. So th- eight years ago, Majid was actually, or Brooklyn, whatever, was, <laughs> was, was, was actually uh, at times feeling sorry for mm-hmm. Melania, if you can, yeah. if you can believe that. I, I just, I kind of, I, I saw pictures of her, you know, looking miserable. And then <laughs> you remember thing, which, that she peddled think, the, which the, is most pictures. She huh? peddled the birther lie about she Obama. Did. I mean, you know, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm like, and, and her, and you know, nude model from Europe is better than a porn star. Why exactly? I mean, the fact that they tried to slut shame. Uh, Stormy Daniels is is I just think backfired big time and and I thought Michael Cohen by all accounts did great you know I mean yes he admits because he owns it right off right yeah I lied I lied for Trump that's what you do if, when you work for Trump right I'll tell you something about Michael Cohen um, uh, there was a time when I remember not not caring for him at all because no, you heard about either. the things that he had done in service of Trump and it yeah. sounded very thuggish you know and and brutal. But then, you know, every, every, I believe everyone has a right to a second chance. Everyone has a right to redeem themselves if they're earnest about it, you know. And he stood up in Congress and testified. And this is like, I, I keep going back to this because there are so many people who could have and still could step forward and speak out against him. But they're afraid. They're afraid to because they know how vindictive he is. And nobody knows better than Michael Cohen, who was his right-hand guy for all those years. Nobody knows better than Michael Cohen how vindictive Donald Trump can be. And still, he stepped forward and he said what he said at, you know, at the risk to his own safety and his family's safety. You know, he testified. And that's better than, you know, most Republicans out there. Mm-hmm. And he's doing it again. So yeah. um, my hat is off to him. Can I just say, I love, I'm a huge fan of Hacks. I don't know if you've seen the show with Gene Smart. And uh, is it Hannah? What's Great. her last name? Lorraine Newman's daughter. She's fantastic, yeah. too. I can't, um, I don't remember. I'm I getting her last name. it right. Last <laughs> minder or something. Ice, anyway, ice but um, yeah. it's hilarious. So she's laying down rules to continue to work for Gene Smart. And she says, no, making fun of my parents anymore. No, this, that, whatever. And Gene Smart's like texting. She's like, okay, okay, I agree. <laughs> And she, meanwhile, she texted her maid in the other room, and the maid came in and, re- and read the jokes <laughs> to oh. Ava. <laughs> like, that's funny. And she's like, no, 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 that's, you can't use that workaround. But this goes to, you know, this tweet you, you retweeted about Eric Trump. One of his father's biggest disappointments was busted for violating Judge Mershon's rules against using mobile devices in the courtroom. To make matters worse, he used his phone to hurl an attack at the witness testifying Michael Cohen, tweeting, I've never seen anything more rehearsed. Uh, Eric Trump, the only family member who appeared in court with Trump, is joined in the courtroom by Tuberville Vance, whatever. It's clear Trump was unable, unable to convince anyone with an iota of common sense to publicly support him. But it's so sad where they just think, you know, like, oh, Eric will do it, and that gets around the gag order. Mm-hmm. And it it doesn't. As, 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 you know, a lot of legal experts have said, there is a spirit of the gag order, too, that is, that is legally, um, you know, important, right? I am surprised that uh, Eric Trump was able to manage anything competent uh with without hurting himself uh the he wasn't the only person who skirted around the uh, the gag order i don't know if you you recall yesterday 
there was J.D. Vance, who is, you know, who was uh, one of many in a procession of vice presidential hopefuls. Yeah. Uh, who was slash uh, anal suppositories? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing at this point. Uh, who was at the the trial yesterday and actually attacked uh, Judge Merchan's daughter? You know, yeah. verbally attacked yeah. her, and that's that's his that's his loophole. You know, he's always yeah. going to look for some and damn to, loophole. And to ask the judge to lift the gag order just so he can attack Stormy Daniels. I mean, obviously the judge get, it's so you can lie. So the judge, like, thank God, like, you know, had him to rights. He said, no, you can testify and say whatever you want, but it's under oath. Right. You don't get to, this yeah. is the, you know, this is what he just thinks he can go out and lie and then say he's going to testify. And then he'll give some bolt excuse as to why he can't testify. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's maddening how many times he has gotten away with uh, violating the, the gag order and just, just a paltry thousand dollars per offense i mean that's that's change he's finding in in the sofa in in his uh couch cushions that's that's nothing to him um i personally think they should throw a, an orange jumpsuit on him and have him walk up and down the fdr drive with one of those pointy sticks and collect trash yep. i think that <laughs> yes. That. yes a pointy I stick yes. i agree um so broken dad uh, first yes. name Brooklyn, middle name Dad, Dad. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. last name Defiant. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's on his driver's license. Yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> um, I was just in Wisconsin for uh, Sexy Liberal Madison on Saturday, and it was so great how Joe Biden just went there and pants Donald Trump about this, you know, Foxconn bolt, right? And all his golden shovel. I brought a golden shovel. So many jobs. Like people in Wisconsin remember that that, like most things, do do Trump says are lies, just con jobs that never happened. Right. So you tweeted uh, reminder, Donald Trump spent four years of his presidency promising infrastructure week, but delivering nothing but a diaper full of crime. President Biden wasted no time, got to work, delivered infrastructure decade for Americans. His infrastructure bill is so amazing. It created jobs and opportunities in states whose members of Congress voted against it, then tried to take credit for the funding. That's because he's not a president of, for only blue states or red states. He's the president of the United States of America. That's my kind of president. Um you forget somebody. <laughs> Thank you. Salute, sir. God bless you. And God bless the United States. God bless the United States. Um, God bless the United States. All right, Grandpa Dentures. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you almost forget about that, right? The, the, the Biden or excuse me, Obama, right? I, it's, not, I, it's not a blue states or the red states where the United States, you know, that just his whole speech. We got some gay friends in the red states and we worship an awesome God in the blue states. Someone was saying, uh, you know, that it's almost like there's two campaigns going on. Like Joe Biden's running a normal campaign on Earth One. And then there's some Earth Two campaign. that is just I mean, this really is in that sense, the most unusual political year we've been in, isn't it? It's just uh, they're not even with, running the same campaign. Right. It, with, with without like they're, a doubt. they're not without even like they're in the same campaign. Excuse me. So so what the craziest thing about this election, right, is that you have one guy who used to be president uh, and one guy who is currently president. Right. And yet they couldn't be more different. Um, a quick note. I, I want to say that uh, people should stop sleeping on on Joe Biden. I loved his his delivery of the the line. He said they bought golden shovels and they dug a hole and they fell into it. I thought that was that <laughs> yeah. was a beautiful thing. Yeah, Dark, um, Dark Brandon's been in the house, man. He's <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And I love the fact that you know he's picking up the pieces that Donald Trump dropped and just and and left. Like when Trump left office, he was in a hole of like two point something million jobs that he. Had lost. He's the only president to have lost, to have a net loss of jobs yeah. uh, when leaving the office. And not only did President Biden recover all those jobs, but he tapped on a whole bunch of millions more. Yeah. Um, and the it's, infrastructure thing, it was the biggest joke of the, the Trump presidency. It was a running joke. Every yeah. year was infrastructure week and nothing got done. And President Biden, like, got right to yeah. work immediately and, I, I and just, passed a huge, huge bill. It's massive. Yeah, yeah, I just saw a Trump ad this morning, and it, it just make you want to vomit. I mean, it is like him. Every single thing in it is a lie, but it, it some you know some fictional hellscape 
of America that, that Biden resides over, I guess, and how great everything was when Trump was president. I mean, this is going to be our battle, isn't it? Th this election year is just facts versus just rampant lies and, and disinformation. Yeah, um, I, I tweeted something. Uh, I, I tweeted something the other day uh, talking about how um, how President Biden is only interested in improving things for regular Americans. And Donald Trump is only interested in saving his own yeah. butt. Yeah. That, that's basically, that is that is the uh, critical difference between the two. They couldn't be further apart in, yep. um, in, in so many different areas, you know. Um, yeah, Biden's running for you. Trump's voting, running for him. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it couldn't be simpler.